Good morning, students. Happy second day of at-home learning. I'm going to go ahead and do our morning meeting. So today is March 18th, 2020, and I know I'm trying to keep track of the days of the week. It is Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. Yesterday was Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. Tomorrow will be Thursday, March 19th, 2020. The weather is sunny, thank goodness, and I have a couple of updates for you, okay? Um, so the new, there's a new PBS learning assignment under the reading tab. I want you to go ahead and try that and let me know how you like it because I have a bunch like them and it's interactive so you can click on videos and answer questions. Um, the other thing is I have posted a link on Clever to Go Noodle. That is free for you to do videos while you are inside. And there's also a math skip counting activity um, where you can skip count and move around. It's really important that you stay active during this time. You want to keep moving. Um, today's also a beautiful day and it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. So maybe today you go outside uh, at the beginning of the day and do a go noodle or the math skip counting in the afternoon. Okay. Now, parents and families, um, please make sure that you're communicating any feedback with me. If there's anything that you need, anything that you want, um, please let me know. I'm obviously new at this. We're all new at this, and I'm here to help. Um, I can make more YouTube videos. Um, I can do whatever you think might be helpful. I'm also wondering um, how the... Um, work is doing if students are finishing it quickly and you're left with lots of extra time um, or if it's almost too much and I should scale back for the calendar that I post next week. Um, so please keep me posted. Um, so here on my home learning calendar for today, these are the expectation students what you, of what you should be completing. You should be completing day 94 of your morning work. You should be reading for 20 minutes. You can read a book from your own library or a book on Epic. And then you're doing a reading response sheet. So you're writing about your reading. You need at least four super sentences and you can use those examples on Google Classroom or in your folder um, to look at so you have an idea of what you should be writing. All right. For writing, you're going to pick a topic from the writing prompt menu and you're going to write in your writing journal and include a drawing. Okay. Now for phonics, you're going to complete pages 15 to 18 in the From Reading to Phonics book. I did put a video on Google Classroom about inflectional endings and making things plural. So for example, if I had a duck, I have one duck. If I add the suffix s, to the end of it, I have ducks. That means I have more than one duck. So it's just a silly little video um, that will help you with those inflectional endings. Um, for cursive, you're going to complete page six of the cursive book, or if you have the packet, you're going to complete the third page. Um, and then for math, um, again, at some point this week, you need to do pages 143 to 144. I'm going to ask that also at some point this week, you do that math skip counting video um, that I have left on Google Classroom under the math tab. And then I also would like you to play Prodigy for 20 to 30 minutes. I will be updating Prodigy with new questions today um, to make sure that everyone is getting what they need. Um, with that, Please always reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, we are all trying our best, and I hope everyone stays safe and healthy. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine.